Hey, what's up everybody? I'm back today with just a quick video. As you can see here, I did get in the GPEL temper glass screen protector for the Galaxy S8. So I wanted to get that installed for you and get it uploaded as quickly as possible. Ian in here from Udroid Mania. We're going to start by just taking a brief look at the packaging and as you can see here GPEL has changed things up a little bit but they've got everything that we need in terms of protection for a screen protector. Inside you're going to find the installation instructions along with a kit containing everything that you'll need for the actual install and we'll take a quick look at that. As you can see here we've got the protector itself, some dust remover stickers, a cleaning cloth and a microfiber cloth. First, we'll start by cleaning our display. Now this is a brand new Galaxy S8, so this phone's not dirty, but typically if your screen had dust, dirt, or debris on there, you wanna make sure that you take the time to get any of that off because once you apply this protector, it's gonna be there. In the last tempered glass installation video that I'd done, you guys were asking me to not speed up the actual cleaning process and the install process and just to let you see that. So today I'm gonna allow us to do that. As you can see here, it doesn't take a very long time to clean or dry the display. So take the time that you need, whatever you're comfortable with, just make sure that there's nothing left on the display. Next, we'll remove the plastic protector off the back of the tempered glass so that we can go ahead and get ready for the install. But before we do that, let's take a quick look. What you can see here is that this protector is gonna have the adhesive that runs around the perimeter of the actual protector, which means there's nothing on the center. And this is something that we're starting to see with the tempered glass screen protectors now due to the curved displays. And lately what we've been seeing from tempered glass manufacturers is the fact that there's not gonna be any adhesive in the center, so GPEL's doing the right thing here. And one thing that we'll notice up close is that when you look at the protector, you'll see the little dots on the screen, but these typically don't show through on the actual display itself. If you had a GPEL protector last year, you may remember those rainbow sparkles that we saw on the protectors, but that's not here this year, so this is definitely a good sign. When it comes to the install, I use the sensors to actually line up the protector before lowering it down. When I'm sure that I got it in the right position, I go ahead and put that into place. Once the protector's installed, I get my microfiber cloth, and I run that around the edges of the display just to make sure that I create a nice seal here, and I suggest you do the same. Do this a couple of times to make sure that the protector's on there nice and tight. So let's go ahead and take our first look at the install protector. It's gonna take me a couple of days to actually check this out, so get your questions ready, leave them down in the comments below, and let me know what you'd like to know about this protector. Okay, so there you guys have it. Like I said, I just got the S8 today. I installed this protector right away, immediately after unboxing it because I knew you wanted to see this video. I haven't had a lot of time to actually play with this and fully test this out, which is why this is not a review video. It's just to let you know that I did get these protectors in and I'm gonna start the review on this today. Leave your questions down below and let me know exactly what you'd like to know so I can make sure that I cover that in the full review. If you're new to the channel, you're getting this phone, now would be the time to go ahead and click that subscribe button for more content like this. Welcome to the channel. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in my next one.